so this is hot as fuck. As you can see, I torched it. Hopefully, I didn't melt anything I didn't need to. There it is. Ooh, that ain't good. Damn it. Assuming this ain't good either. All that melty stuff. Is that crucial? I must say though, I'm proud of myself for not melting any of the threaded part. I think I might be able to clean that up too. So we are getting a little closer here on the KDX 200 rebuild. As you can see, I've got the cases back together, or the case back together. crank seals, new crank bearings, all the engine seals replaced. Getting most of this stuff back together. Get the Kickstarter on. Idler gear. I still have to torque this uh, water pump gear but yeah this is kind of my next little project now I gotta try and see if I can clean this up I was able to cut off that tusk puller because it was not unthreading And then the parts that were left in here, I was able to torch and get out. So I melted it a little bit right there. But the circular part of it actually looks pretty good. Um, it's just got a, like a bunch of slag and whatnot in there. So... That can all be cleaned up. I think I can clean this up and use it, hopefully. The only thing I'm not sure about is this melted plastic here in the flywheel. Yeah, not too sure what to do about that if it's okay or if I need to be looking for a new flywheel um, I got it super hot with a acetylene torch so yeah it's kind of unfortunate but the magnet seems to be just fine um, you know and all this can be cleaned up and whatnot and then this gets held on with a bolt um, yeah, so that's kind of the next thing. I got to see if I can clean this thing up or 
we'll start looking for a replacement. Hopefully not. Um, the only thing though, the threads in here are pretty boogered up, so I don't know, once this flywheel goes on, I'm not too sure about how it's gonna get pulled back off. Threads are a little damaged. Again, I might be able to fix them. I'm getting right there, it's just a little nicked up, but not too bad, really. It's pretty heavy duty steel on that. So, anyway, got the shifter all together. The, that seems like it's working. It's kind of tough to shift. But I think I've gotten it to go through all the gears, so I don't know. I'm just I'm pretty nervous that something with that shift drum is not right, but I don't know. It seems to to function. So I think if something was not right with it, it probably would be like totally bound up and seized. So I feel like once the engine's spinning and uh, it should shift through everything pretty smoothly so everything went back together pretty decently okay so I've got those remnants from the welding pretty much ground flat now still a little bit left on there but I think that'll be good enough and I can't see, but I got the inside of there cleaned up pretty good. So is should just be able to bolt it down Too bad. What do you think? Is it usable? <laughs>